Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to um, another series which I'm planning on starting up for you guys. Um, so basically I have um, a lot of fun and do really enjoy doing my own makeup. Um, I'm not very good at it but it's something which us women we do take a lot of pride in. Um, and I think it's good for us to see like different ways that other girls and women do their makeup um, to help us with tips and you know like little tricks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to start off by using a Marks and Spencer's Beauty Cream. Um, there's a day cream and a night cream and I'm going to start off by using the day cream. I don't actually use a primer because there's never actually been one that I found that I really do like that's had a good consistency um, and a good like nice texture there was one um, a few years back that I used um, and it had like a nice consistency but then I put it on my face and then as soon as I put my foundation on and started to layer everything else on on top it just like I don't know it sort of like rubbed off and then you could just see my skin underneath um, so yeah I didn't really settle very well with that um, I do have this Mark spray from um, Avon which is actually meant to be like a prime prep and set spray so you can actually use it to put an under layer on your face and then build your makeup on it over the top but again I don't really like the feel that it leaves on my face once my makeup's on because it makes my face feel a little bit stiff so yeah um, I'm going to put this cream on and loads of different foundations oh, whoopsie. and the two that I love the most are Maybelline New York Dream Satin Liquid um, and I use that in on ivory there's a really nice light SPF in there um, and a Rimmel London Match Perfection uh, it's an invisible well it says invisible coverage and I use that in an ivory as well um, but 100 um, so this one leaves more of a matte look on your skin rather than this one which does leave more of a shiny like wet silky look so my favourite is this one so this is the one I'm going to use for the video um, so I have previously just damped my sponge um, so I'm literally going to just apply that straight to the sponge One thing that bugs me as well sometimes is when I forget to do my hairline and then at the end I'm like, oh, bother. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're all blended in with that. So next, I use a mixture of highlighters. So, I use um, the La Roque beginners collection and I use a wipe for underneath my eyes and obviously my highlighting uh, spots to lighten those um, I did want to try to use the dark in this um, to do around obviously my darker patches but it was just way too dark um, and I just couldn't seem to blend it in without looking dirty so yeah so I just used the white out of that that is literally it and then I will go over the white patches um, lightly with a Freedom, so this is from Superdrug highlighter, I think it was literally just a couple of pounds and I used that in shade Diffused, here we go. So I use this little like curved brush which is actually really fantastic, oh, I can feel the makeup on my nose again, oh. I usually end up always having to touch that up because I'll just end up skin colour again. Um, yeah, makeup gallery. So that is actually a pound, pound land brush. And do you know what? It's actually fantastic. I literally swear by it. I use it every single time I do my makeup. Absolutely love it. So I'm using that sponge um, brush. And then for my highlighter, again, I know that all these brushes have certain like uses and they are for specific things. But I just like I literally just find a brush which I'm comfortable with and that is what I will do there's no right or wrong way in my opinion of how you should use a brush yeah some people think there is but I really just don't give it two hoots 
Um, so yeah, brushes. I do have another sponge. Here we go. Literally, I use a tiny little one. I've wet it, I've dampened all of these before I've done this video. Before I Right, see how bright that is. Like that for me is really, really nice. And that brightness is just something which I've used a lot of powdered contours for this, and I just can't seem to match it. Like honestly, that La Roc uh, palette is genuinely really, really good. Um, so now I'm gonna use this. Like I think it's just, I don't know. It, I don't even know what shape it is. It's weird. I'm going to use the, uh, the highlight and sculpt palette now. I, do you know what? I did use the highlighter in this for a very long time. Um, but uh, I don't know. It just It's not very great. It's not very pigmented at all. But like, I don't think. This stuff is quite dark. And because I do naturally have quite light skin... like just like this a little bit okay so that's just where I'm going with that yeah again I'm not doing anything anywhere else um, this brush do you know what I actually really really like this brush so um, for Christmas as a gift I got this really nice like I'll quickly show you just, this really nice like um, plastic drawer set thing and it had like all um, brushes in it and the brushes are so pretty like I really like them I had these really nice purple like ombre sort of um, brushes before um, again I got those as a Christmas gift oh yeah this highlighter so with this pointed brush maybe I've used those the wrong way around for how I said I was going to use them but oh well <laughs> so this stuff as I say I'm literally going to just sweep there isn't a lot on this brush right okay so for me I'm happy with that um, very happy with that so blusher in the cupcake so let me just find my blush in brush so I'm going to use this like slanted brush little sweep because it is very pink and I'm literally going to go in between that gap where I put the highlighter and the um, contour that's literally where I'm gonna just go a little tiny sweep I'm done all right let's put all these brushes away for a minute so that's that done right my eyes oh my god I take such pride in doing my eyes and love it so um have I still got the colour in it yes so for my everyday colour that I like to use um I mean, I did used to use a lot of browns and neutrals because I have brown eyes, like, at the tops now because my highlights are fading out. You know, creams, baby pink, stuff like that. Recently, um, I got this Naked Free Urban Decay palette. Um, and I found a love for this dark pink here. Like, I love that. And so I use dark pink here, this pink, and this almost light, light pink. Um, oh, and then a tiny little bit of this. Um, I love doing it. Like, I love doing it when I do it because I feel like I look fantastic. And it gives me this massive, like, powerful feeling. Like, a, yes, I feel fantastic. I feel beautiful. Like, I feel lovely. I feel on top of this world. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really take much of an interest. Um, of doing it every day but that is something which I do want to try to change and I do want to get more practice I mean I'm 22 like how much more practice could you need but hey ho um, I don't do that anymore I just sort of 
don't know. Just don't. So yeah, it went over a bit too much. So yeah, I'm literally just. And if anyone could recommend me any really good like eyeshadow tutorials to watch um, to help me learn to do it better, I would be eternally grateful. Um, yeah, I love watching YouTube videos and stuff, so I'm more than happy to sit and practice and learn. You know, and I'm more than happy to practice with you guys. So if you find a video that you'd like me to try, and you say, "Oh, like in the next video, could you try this one?" Like, fantastic. Let's go with it. Um, if I'm gonna use, I'm gonna need to put some more. Where's my little sponge? There it is. I get such itchy nose because I have really bad hay fever as well, so it doesn't really work very well. Do you know the other day I had to, um, I had to do my makeup for Rocky Horror Picture Show. I went and watched it with my mother-in-law, and um, my makeup looked fantastic. I did all this different like eyeshadow, like a silver bright, like you know, like over the top. Um, got there, and we had to sit outside in this like lobby for a little while. And my hay fever just kicked off. I was right on the seafront. Hay fever kicked off. I was watering everywhere. That's it. Makeup just melted off, and I was so gutted because I actually felt really, really pretty. Yeah, so that's that. Then with the darker of the two circular brushes, I'm gonna use the dust, so the lighter one, to literally, I like to go on the inside here, sweep underneath a little bit, go into the, that bit there, where I sort of missed with that. <laughs> It adds really nice, beautiful, shimmery. What a lot of people, this is where a lot of people usually put highlighter, but my, the dust um, color in here is so pigmented, it's so beautiful. Um, I really do recommend this palette. Um, and then I'm gonna go here again where people usually put highlighter, and I will put a little tiny bit of highlighter uh, at the end, but this, and I don't think the camera picks up the pigment very well, um, is actually very, very pigmented of a highlighter sort of consistency, and it also tones down this bit, just a tiny little touch. Um, okay, so now, with this flat brush, I'm going to use a mixture of like the light um actually do you know what i'm not going to use the liar color i was going to um i'm going to use the buzz so the same color as here i'm going to put a nice thick coat onto the thing and then i'm literally going to go under here and you just that's it clean that up a little bit with my finger <laughs> However, it's easier. I'm going to use a little bit more foundation just to clean it up, and then I'm going to go over it with a bit more highlighter because I did make that a little bit too sharp that side. Um, yeah, so back to the freedom. I'm going to use that little curly brush again just to. Right, I feel like that's a little bit too clean there. Oh, well, right. Eyeshadow is done for me. Um, oh, another eyeshadow palette which I really like to use. So my two other palettes that I have. Revolution. I love, oh, this is the Redemption palette, Iconic 3. I love to use in this one the pink 
the more brownie colour and this colour just here. They're, they're not labelled what colours they are, so I don't know any names for them. Oh, girl, what are you done? Right, so, um, but in the meantime, I use this colour, um, my, colour my brows. It's literally, it's like an eyebrow mascara. So you don't, the, the brush is really little. Um, you don't get much um, product on the on the brush. So I literally use this to just like take out the dusty look from the um, foundation and the powders and the whatnots. So um, yeah, so I'm literally gonna do the middle um, and then I seem to have where's that come from? A little bit of. up the outside to clean up that shape a little bit um am i gonna need my pencil for that yes i am so i'm gonna use my pencil because i've just noticed i've got a few hairs just there and there's a little bit of a gap so i'm gonna just try to add a tiny little bit of color there you go so that's all i've done i've literally just added in a tiny little bit of color i do believe that eyebrows define the face and again whether people think that's right or wrong that's down to you but just in my opinion eyebrows do define the face and I think I'm just filling that scar gap when people have crazy big eyebrows people look and they're a bit like whoa but I don't want people to be drawn to my eyebrows to look at them first I want people to look at me and like my eyes and my face so well, I actually just oh I put it in with my brushes so, I'm gonna go around with the highlighter, around the top. And here. And, oh well, I'll just here in there. A little bit just there, and a little bit just here. And then, go oh, in. Um, Give that a few minutes to dry. Okay. Oh, this is really good for this as well. Look, watch. <laughs> I really do that. I want to do my lips. And so I got these nice little eyebrow pencils from Pound. Um, no, actually Primark. Uh, for about a pound I think it was or two pound um, a pink and a white so sometimes I use pinks but a lot of the time I like to use white because I feel like it highlights your eyes a bit more makes your eyes stand out a bit so um, which is, has run out I use Avon True Colour uh, two different wands um, black these two so this one is a nice thick like it's um like this Like that sort of brush and then this wide awake mascara true color is a curly whirly brush like whatever go with it so yeah I literally oh so this here for a reason I have this very widely magnifying mirror just here a little bit more simple on things like this like the eyes, eyelashes. One thing I've never, ever, ever hacked is fake eyelashes. I own them. I can't get them on. I've tried, I've tried, and I've tried. I'm gonna do a art video next. So my art video will be on a better setup than it was um, when I did my introduction, as you can see already, lighting in here is better than when I did the introduction because it's actually daytime <laughs> now. So for my eyelash, um, I yeah, eyelashes. Yep. Yeah, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go with a clean brush and I'm gonna just try to spread out any spider webs. 
legs, spider legs, whatever you call them. And then I'm going to use the eyebrow curler to just curl. I try to get right to the bottom and include those little and include the little wispy ones in the corner. Ow. Oh. Cool. Now for my lips, I'm gonna use another Primark pencil. Um, I'm using this. I don't even know what shade this is. Uh, lip shape as best as possible I can't think of anything worse than when you have like lip liner up here um, and it I like to use a shade which is similar to my <laughs> lipstick so this lipstick that I'm using is an Avon Mark matte super matte like these are literally super matte um, it's called pinking about you so blend that in with a lip liner bit of paper this has got to be one of the best matte lipsticks I've ever used um, I used it and now I swear by it and then A bit of a highlighter. Oh. Oh, it's gone so matte now. <laughs> and then another good layer. <sighs> Unbalances everything. <laughs> Done. So I hope you like it. Okay, so finished look I hope you like it um, as I say this is something which I do want to do more on my channel um, so I hope you guys like it um, and if you do then I'd be grateful with a thumbs up um, any comments anything you think I can do to better myself um, or my makeup or any any comments that you have at all um, then yeah feel free to comment um, hit subscribe if you're new um, and I'd love you to follow me um, so yeah I look forward to seeing you next time um, the next video that will be uploaded to my channel will be an art video um, I do have a tripod now and a desk so once I set up I might do like a little um, this is how my desk is set up blah 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 maybe do a few little videos um, I need to get some new paints and stuff like that so yeah um, so yeah, um, I will see you next time. Thank you very much and I'll see you later. Bye!